Archbishop of Jazz, Most Reverend Ishaya Audu, has eulogized members of the St. Peter's Pastoral Area, Gyal Jazz, for the growth of Catholicism in the area. Archbishop Audu lauded the parishioners when he paid a three day pastoral visit to the area. Citavis just correspondent while Bioga reports that during the visits, the Archbishop also paid a courtesy call to the traditional rulers in the area. The report. <laughs> Parishioners of St. Peter's Pastoral Area Gale in Josad Local Government Area of Plateau State turned out in large numbers to welcome the Chief Shepherd as well as participate in the line up of activities outlined for the historic visit. In his message to the parishioners, Archbishop Audu reiterated that the essence of his visit is to strengthen their faith because it is the life we are of Christianity. Is to go and to strengthen the faith of the people. So my visit to your parish is primarily to strengthen your faith. It is faith that gives life, particularly to Christian religion. Our Lord Jesus Christ, during his earthly life, emphasized the role of faith in this Christian religion that he was bringing. He taught it, he lived it, and he encouraged people to practice faith. Archbishop Audu also paid a costly call on the Dagom Way of Josat local government area, His Royal Highness Da Nga Dengia, where he cautions the indigenous people against indiscriminate sales of farmlands. After the four days' visit, the priest in charge of St. Peter's Pastoral Area Girl, very Reverend Father Joseph Z. Mancha, the council president, chairman planning committee, and some parishioners described the pastoral visit as a historic and memorable one. God be the glory. I thank God that at least uh, the pastoral visit that we planned over a year now is all over. And I thank God that it, it took place and we were able to witness uh, his coming and uh, a lot of blessings have been uh, enjoyed by the parishioners. He has impacted greatly on the parishioners because having an interface with them has given them real hope. They've never had it that good. So the, the, he had interface, everybody was free to talk to him, ask questions, and he was just down to earth with all the parishioners. So they felt very relaxed and very confident that he's a good leader and he's carrying them along in everything that he's doing. So it's something that needs to be applauded. Well, to God be the glory, the Archbishop have come and have gone to the glory of God. I personally feel humble and uh, happy to have cheered the first committee of the pastoral visit of the Archbishop to our pastoral area, very historic one of that matter. And uh, they, there were challenges, but to God be the glory, the Bishop has come, his visit was a success, and he has returned in good health. In fact, his pastoral visit is really an encouragement to the lay faithful. And uh, people, they belong more since they have been recognized most especially the visit that we went yesterday from one local church to another. In some of the church, we have only seven people, one man and then six women. But they were very happy by seeing him. So it's a good work. We pray that the good Lord will continue to give him the strength, carry the gospel around to the grassroots. Highlight of other activities during the four days of the pastoral visits include a visit to our stations, wedding of five couples, Confirmations of candidates, award recognition of outstanding parishioners, thanksgiving, and climaxing with the commissioning of Our Lady of Remedy Grotto. On me as the local ordinary of the Archdiocese of Jones, I declare this statue uh, ready and blessed for prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> What be Ogag report from Joss?